What's up everyone, this is AD Gaming and welcome back to another War Robots video. So in today's video we are on the test server. We have the Indra Titan is on the test server, the brand new Indra Titan. And I'm going to do a comparison with gameplay between the Indra Titan and the Luchador. Very shortly, the Indra Titan is basically an improved version of Aravana. It has a Vipassana ability. It's basically a phase shift ability with two, uh, two second uh, uh, duration like the Ravana. And in, in addition, it has electric, electrical laser. So you will see it in the gameplay how it's gonna be. And the Luchador, most of you are familiar with the Luchador, has the, uh, the frog splash ability, the, the reflector ability, you can see. So yeah, here we go. We are already in the gameplay. I'm playing with the puncher Orochi. We'll try to bring the Titan as fast as possible. And of course guys, this is not gonna be, it's not gonna, we, are, we won't be able to judge who is better because this is a test server, of course, just preview comparison, of course, probably I will do it in the live server, max level category is gonna be different, so, but just I wanna see how it's gonna be on the test server, it's gonna help out uh, for us, for everyone. Uh, direction, give us direction, who is gonna be the better, but it's not gonna be decisive yet after. So, I already, I already played the gameplay, I, but I, I can, I do the post commentary right now, but the main idea is to understand the new Titan ability and to compare it with the other Titans. So, first of all, I'll do it with the Luchador, probably we'll do it with the other Titans. So, in the comment section below, tell me which which you want to see next the r2 the i don't know the nodes even tell me in the comments below first of all i want to start with the luchador because the luchador in my opinion guys the luchador until this point the luchador was the best titan in the game at least for in my opinion and then the meta had shifted and the more match with laser became a meta but in my opinion like i said until this point, I, I think that the Luchador was the best, until the nerf. And of course, in this test server, if you don't know guys, by the way, I'm spawning the Indra, you can see already the gameplay. If you don't know, the Luchador is about to get a nerf. So, I already played uh, two gameplays after the nerf on the test server with the Luchador. I can already tell you that I feel the dif a huge difference. Before the nerf was much better, and after the nerf, it's not like it was before, you have to play really careful. In the gameplay you will see how I'm playing with this thing. So this is why I chose also the crate and the Basilisk weapons to compare with them. With these weapons you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to engage the enemies. You can stay 500 meter range, you can, you can keep the range I mean, 500 meter range and you can do maximum damage with this weapon. So guys pay attention, you can see the ability of the Indra it's like they designed it to counter the orbital strikes. You noticed how I did it. Somebody was about to activate orbital strike and I basically avoided this thing. And you also, you don't only get immunity versus negative effects and any kind of damage, you also get extra speed. So you saw here another example how I avoided the laser weapons of these movements over there. So basically with this ability you can counter everything. You can counter as you have three charges. This Titan has three charges. And you can see again. I'm doing it again. You can do your shots and all the time. Uh, like that, I mean. Every time and you can do your shots and you can get away from uh, an awkward situation, you know. And you also have the ability, the, the special ability of the Indra. So you need to get close to the enemies to do it. I hope I will have a chance to show you this thing. But for now you can see I am more than 250 meter range. I don't have to activate my ability. This is a chance to do it. So I'm activating my ability. You can see the red link. It's not like the Capri ability, but you can say it's, it's the opposite ability of a Capri. Instead of extra speed, you give the enemy, uh, you slow them down basically. So this is the opposite ability of the Capri, basically. But not only that, it also has a, a, some, something special. You can get extra damage also after you finish your ability. This is what they said according to the, the stats. 
So I already got a couple of kills with this thing. You, go, you already see that the power of this Titan. This is probably. I don't want to say it's going to be the best Titan because it's an early test server already. It only I mean. But for what I see, for what I've tested, I played a few matches. I can already say that this Titan is going to be one of the best. It's basically going to be like the glorious days of the Ravana. This is the, basically the father of the Ravana. This is some proof version of the Ravana. The thing is, again, this is a test server. The numbers, they are not... This is not maximum number. But you see, this is another kill, triple kill. Let's see if we can get more. So, this is a glory Huey. We can activate our ability. We can, you know... Uh, avoid the shots, we are activating the abilities, we go them really easily. So there is another Titan, a movement that spawned and we got in the process, we got the Capri, we got a godlike already, guys, pay attention, this is insane. So this movement, there is, he cannot hide, he's all uh, our, uh, he's all mine, I mean. <laughs> okay, we got the Titan Slayer, it's gonna be a living legend, I believe. Yes, this is a living legend. So. This is approved already. This is the first gameplay when we got a living legend. This is insane. This is insane. I mean the first gameplay that I'm showing you. Already played a few matches with this thing to understand how it works, you know. But in order to do the comparison, I'm using uh, this setup uh, first time. Th before I tried the shotguns. So the shotguns, I already tested them last week with the Luchador. Be sure to check it out, the new, the new Titan shotguns, the shotguns I mean. So this was the gameplay with the Indra, we will shortly, I will show you the gameplay with the Luchador, just showing you the scores. And this is the gameplay with the Luchador, first of all again, started with the Orochi and the other robots, this is not so important, you know what, what's important here is to showcase the Titan, this is the, basically the, the main idea of this video to showcase the titans to understand about their abilities their weaknesses so about the weaknesses of the indra other than the speed i don't know what else are the the weaknesses i mean it is has uh, enough firepower to deal with most of the titans has three charges of phase shift you can basically outplay Almost every Titan in the game, if you are playing it right, basically use three times the, the phase shift, the, I mean the Vipassana ability. It's the same thing, you know, it's the same ability, basically. You can do it every time. Basically, if somebody is using, let's say, Aminos, using Reflecto, you can use your, your ability. And you have a, the other ability, you can even slow them down, you can get extra damage. And if you are playing well with this thing, like I said, you can outplay almost every titan in the game so this is my early assessment I, 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 I'm saying but the luchador compared to the luchador you will see you will understand when I spawn the luchador in a few moments you will understand how it is uh, so significant the difference between them so I'm here I've spawned the behemoth and then the titan is ready then I basically destroyed the behemoth because like i said the important thing is to test out the luchador and the indra so pay attention there is a indra on the enemy side you see how i'm struggling with this is him i'm trying to play careful here to use my my uh, orbital strike to use my uh, even my teammates so i'm not alone in this fight you can see i have my teammates and look how much damage it did to me with this shotgun. This is insane. And even the reflector of the Luchador, it doesn't give you full protection anymore like it was before. So I already, because I tested it before on the other video, I can say that it is much weak, the Luchador, right now. Without the help of my teammates, I don't know if I would have killed it. You know, I would kill this uh, Indra. Because of my teammate, I was able to do it. Look how much damage it did to me. And yeah, he, he, he wasn't even afraid to engage my Luchador even even when my teammate was were next to me. This is goes to show you that the one-on-one -on -one situation probably the Indra is gonna win the Luchador. A, a well-skilled commander, not a pilot, commander 
will be able to deal with the Luchador, especially after the nerf of the Luchador and the Indra Titan, because, because what I mentioned before, that you can use your abilities to deal with the Luchador. You basically, you need to force the Luchador to use his Reflector, and if you are doing so, you can use the weapons of the Indra and the other ability to slow him down and to deal with him. But then again, it, it's all about, every time I'm saying, it's about uh, it, in the gameplay, everything. There are so many manners, there are so many factors during the gameplay, but in one-on-one -on -one situation, like I said, probably the Indra is going to win, but then again, everything can happen. I already, so in the past I did a comparison video between the Sharanga and all the Titans, so usually when the new Titan is coming to the live server, I'm doing a comparison between the new Titan and the other Titan in one video. So because this is a test server and it is just the preview, you can say, I'm doing it with a gameplay. But when it's gonna be on the live server, I'll probably test it in one-on-one -on -one situation This is all the Titans, the other Titans that I'm talking about, the Indra. So this is just a preview to understand and to explain you about the ability. But you can see clearly during the gameplay how I'm struggling with this future though. This is not a... you can see it. So there is again another Indra over there. So imagine if I use something else, let's say the shotgun, so I don't know, a close range weapon and not this machine gun. It will be much difficult because you can see how it's not it's not like it was before. The Luchador is not strong like it was before. Even if it's a test server, you can always see the difference. There is a, a Indra with laser over there again. And I have my teammates, in this case they are helping me really well here. Okay, so this is the Capri from the other side. Jump in here. See how I'm playing with this thing. So strategically with this thing. So uh, careful. That's what I'm saying here. And they are gonna get me probably with the Orion Mothership. So this is one of the disadvantages with the, again, with the Luchador. If you don't have your ability ready, you don't have the jump and even the reflector is not helping you much versus the Orion anymore. You will be, you will have a hard time to fight, you, you know, to escape from uh, Orion mothership. The Indra, you basically just need to click the Vipassana ability and you can avoid this thing really easily. That's the main thing here. So, yeah, like I said, the the difference, the main difference, one of the difference between the two titans, the Indra, you can basically avoid every orbital strike attack. Just need to click your ability and you can avoid this thing. You have immunity versus everything, you have the speed, and the Luchador, because the fact that they nerfed the, the reflector of the Luchador, it, it doesn't have almost full protection versus upcoming damage. You can still do damage to the Luchador, and yeah you saw it clearly so what do you think who is better in your opinion i know this is not the ideal comparison you know it's just a preview of comparison but the idea the idea of this uh, video is uh, to showcase this thing the to understand their abilities so what do you think guys in your opinion who is gonna be better on the live service the indra or the luchador tell me in the comment section below and tell me in general what do you think about the the gameplay and stuff and until next time have a good day slash night